You are listening to Arirang Radio's Wonders of Jeju. This is a segment where we tell you about the lives of people living right here on the island. I'm your host, AK. This is Humans of Jeju. On Humans of Jeju, we introduce people living here on Jeju Island in various ways. And we are here with Jay. Yes. Hello. Hello, Hello everybody. <laughs> Same comments, <laughs> same tone of your voice, and I, I, I kind of enjoy it. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit tired, though. Oh, you're tired? Yeah, because Wh- of the that? long holiday. Is, is that because of it? Yeah, trying to, still trying to bounce back, you know? This whole week's been What like, did you do during the holidays? Uh, no, I mean, we didn't do much, but it's just, you know, it was just a long break, and then you're trying to get back to work. Ah, okay. So. I mean, get back on the track. Like yes. That. You used to work. Yes. Okay, okay, I get it. So, uh, is there any special, like, um, you know, like, occasions, like, you know, during the holiday season? Sleeping. Okay. <laughs> and that is Waking good thing. up late. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Sarla usually everybody, you know, have to get together in the morning. Right. Yeah. So that day mom kept calling. She kept yeah. calling and calling, saying, When are you coming? Ah, so you don't waiting. live with your parents. No, I don't live with my parents, mm. yes. But we do live like just ten minutes apart. So <laughs> okay. It's like, well, you should have come knocking on the door. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, oh my God. So you are living just ten minutes away from your parents' yes. house. Um, okay. So, but I mean, that's good, right? It if feels there's any a lot happening. better. Oh, okay. Now, okay. If, if my parents told me to come, you know, move back in, uh-huh. I'd be like. Uh, no, I think I would. I wish I could move on, like move <laughs> out, actually, but my mom doesn't let me. Mm-hmm. But anyway, okay, so you know, let's just cut to the chase. What is uh, who is the human of Jeju we are introducing today? Yes, yeah, so let's start with listening to today's human of Jeju. Great. 이름은 임유리라고 하고요. 여기 이제 고산의 낮, 고산의 밤에서 고산의 낮을 운영하고 있어요. 이 공간을 만들기 위해서 제주에 온게 맞고요. 처음부터 자리 잡으려고 오게 된건 아니었고 이제 혼자 여행하러 제주도에 왔다가 여기서 이제 알게 된 인연들 덕분에 조금 이제 눌러 앉게 됐다가 여기서 일을 좀 해보고 싶어가지고 이제 생각을 해보게 된것 같아요. 여행을 마치고 육지에 갔다가 제주도에서 할수 있는 일을 이제 제가 고민을 많이 해보고 그리고 이 공간을 이제 구체적으로 생각을 하고 나서 이제 마음을 먹고 다시 제주도에 이제 오게 된 거예요. All right, please tell us about her. Yes, so today's human of Jeju we're introducing is someone who runs a special space called Gosan and Nat, Gosan and Pam, daytime of Gosan and nighttime of Gosan in Hangyeongmyeon area of Jeju City. And her name is Imyuri, and she's operating the Gosan and Nat, the mm. daytime of Gosan. Uh, she mentioned that she came to Jeju Island in order to create this space. And actually, before, uh, she didn't plan to settle in Jeju. Mm-hmm. So she came to Jeju alone alone for a travel, but thanks to the connection she made, she ended up staying and decided she would work in Jeju in the future. So after finishing her trip, she went to the mainland and thought a lot about uh, what she could do in the island. And after conceptualizing the current space she's operating in mm. detail, uh, she said she came back to Jeju Island. So when I actually happened to go to the Hangyeongmyeon area, you know, I heard about this a very special space that had been created, mm-hmm. and that was like uh, daytime of Gosan, Gosan mm-hmm. and in Korean. I haven't really uh, used to it yet, but have heard a lot about it. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's a wonderful place. And uh, so, could you please explain uh, like what kind of space uh, it is to our listeners? Yeah, I think we can say it's a reservation-based book cafe. Uh, it's hard to describe the space in just one sentence as it's a quite multi uh, multi space um, first it's a place with seats prepared only for one person mm-hmm. so the space is operated strictly by reservation uh, it's a personal space where only one person can sit or lie down comfortably to read a book or listen to music also there is a window uh, especially for one person to enjoy and mm-hmm. it's a space where everything is provided to complete relaxation and contemplation from speakers to p- book curation wow sounds sounds like it's really cozy place mm. and how did she you know come uh, come to kind of create this such a space so let's hear the detailed story from her first all right but I actually am a very 
되게 많이 고민하고 약간 용기도 필요하고 그리고 사람들 시선을 되게 많이 의식하게 되는 경향이 있거든요 제주도는 이제 혼자 여행하기가 너무 좋다는 거예요 고용한 데 찾아다니다던가 했는데 제 생각에 100% 그런 저의 성향을 만족시켜 줄수 있는 장소는 없었던 것 같아요 그래서 이런 공간이 있었으면 좋겠다 그냥 속으로 생각을 했었는데 퇴사를 하고 이 제주도에 오게 되면서 구체적으로 어떤 일을 할수 있을까 생각해 봤을 때 이제 마음 한켠에 두고 있던 그런 공간이 이제 생각이 난 거죠 제가 이제 잘할 수 있는 게 뭘까 생각해 봤을 때는 그런 공간을 구성하고 만드는 건 잘할 수 있을 것 같은 거예요 저의 마음에 이제 100% 마음에 드는 공간이니까 그래서 저는 혼자 여행할 때 이런 공간이 너무 필요했는데 저랑 성향이 같은 분들이시라면 필요로 하실 것 같은 거예요 그래서 만들게 되었고요 저희 공간은 성향에 맞는 네, 공간이 맞는 것 같아요 그래서 실제로도 저랑 비슷한 분들이 진짜 많이 찾아와 주시고 계시고. 네. Please. Yes, so she introduced herself as an introverted person. Uh, she mentioned that she tends to ponder a lot and needs courage when doing something alone and mm. she she's also quite conscious of how others think. So she said it took a long time to do something. Um, according to her, she heard that Jeju Island is considered a good place for traveling alone. Yeah. So she came to Jeju alone for the first time ever, but said there were more people than she expected. Uh, she visited many quiet cafes and bookstores, but still found it difficult to find time to be alone mm. with her thoughts. So she said her first trip to Jeju was actually tiring and also kind of felt lonely as mm. well. So no matter how many places she visited, she couldn't find a place that satisfied her preferences 100%. So she says she imagined the space she desired in her mind and wished such a place existed. After that, she quit her long-time job and started to think about what she could do. And she began to think about creating the desired space, uh, which she had in mind mm -hmm. in Jeju Island. Mm -hmm. So according to her, she doesn't consider herself particularly talented or especially good at anything. But the one thing she said she could do well was to create the space she envisioned mm. because it was a space that pleased her 100%. So she ended up creating the space she needed when traveling alone, believing that people with similar preferences would come. And indeed, she said many people similar to her have actually came to visit the place. So I think, you know, being introverted, like she was able to kind of clearly uh, understand what she wanted, mm. right? And, you know, she also wasn't uh, quite like a satisfied with the given environment and was able to create space that is just for herself, like solely for herself. Uh, and, you know, she wanted. Yes. So the space she created, Gosan and at the daytime of Gosan, opened in October 2022. Mm. Uh, she said the busiest day since opening was when 20 people came in one day. And considering the space isn't large and there are only seven spots for one person each, having 20 people come in one day is quite a lot. Um, so when entering the first floor, guests are guided to their assigned spots along the narrow stairs. Uh, it's quiet like the library mm -hmm. and when guests enter the curtained area they find curated books chosen by her questions for the guest and perfectly muted headset awaiting for them wow actually you know i'm curious about like a memorable guest or experiences like from those who visited there yes and let's hear it from her first okay 처음 오픈하고 첫 손님도 너무 저는 기억에 남고 왜냐면 첫 손님이라 떨려서 이제 막 여기 올라가시는 길도 막 몰래 따라가서 이제 막 쳐다보고 그랬었거든요. 어떤 반응이신지 너무 궁금해가지고. 근데 다행히 또 이제 너무 만족해 주셔가지고 막첫 후기도 올려주시고 해셔, 하셨었어요. 들어오실 때는 이렇게 되게 지친 표정이나 되게 굳어있는 표정으로 들어오시는 경우가 많거든요. 음료를 가져다 드리러 이렇게 위에 올라가잖아요. 그때 이제 조금 표정이 있으시고 나가실 때는 되게 좋은 표정으로 나가시는 경우가 많으세요. 그런 손님들 하루 중에는 제 기억에 제가 많이 남는 거예요. Alright, please. Yes, so in fact, Gosan and Not Daytime of Gosan is a very private space with minimal face-to-face -face interaction with the guest. So the guest she remembers most is actually the first guest who visited when she opened the place. Uh, typically, when guests arrive, they are guided to their reserved spot, and she only comes back with their drinks. However, she says she was very curious about the first guest's reaction, even after guiding the guest to the spot. Mm -hmm. So she followed and carefully observed to see the reaction. 
Fortunately, she said that the guest was satisfied with both the space and the service that she provided and even left the first review for the uh, place. She also mentioned that various other guests come as well. And one memorable aspect of her day, she said, is the change that she sees in the guest expressions. Mm. So when guests first arrive, they usually have like a tired or tense expressions. But after being guided to their personal space and served a drink, a little later, their expressions relax. And finally, when they leave, they often leave with a smile. Wow, that you know, make a kind of that gives a great satisfaction to you know the owner. So the more I really hear about it, the more you know it seems like a magical space. And I, actually, the photos uh, was like a popping up on our YouTube channel. And did you uh, so the the action the background? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know the the, the kind of landscape of Jeju mm. uh, was seen uh, from the space mm-hmm. from the inside. It's amazing, actually, mm. and it's like a. Uh, Uh, you know, uh, it doesn't seem like it's a picture. It's it's more like a you know kind of painting out there. All right, so uh, you know today we are introducing Imuri. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Uh, Ms. Imuri, who operates a unique space called Gosan and at uh, daytime of Gosan in Gosan village of Hangyeongmyeon area. So uh, earlier we mentioned about how you know guests enter the space with uh, like a tired expression of the of the face and uh, leave with a bright smile. Miles, mm. and I imagine you know she must feel quite like a uh, fulfilled, like seeing such a trans a transformation in her guest. Yes, absolutely. And anyone feels a sense of accomplishment when their work is acknowledged and helps others. Mm-hmm. So she too feels she made the right choice in starting this venture as she witnesses the gradual changes. Uh, In her guest, so she's been running uh, this space for over a year now, yes. right? And I mean, it's the also the first time for her like operating her own space. And I'm curious about like you know what she like hopes to achieve through this uh, endeavor. Yeah, so if she had a lofty goal, uh, she might have start. Uh, she might not have started, mm. but her first goal was simply to create the space she desired. Uh, however, after operating the space for a year, she says she has some thoughts. Mm-hmm. So should we listen first? Yes, please. 처음에 오픈할 때는 그냥 오래 했으면 좋겠다 이런 생각만 그냥 막연하게 가지고 있었는데 이제 1년 정도 이제 손님들 왔다 갔다 하시는 거를 보고 나니까는 이제 제가 처음에 생각하지 못한 약간 공간이 주는 힘 같은 거를 제가 이제 많이 느껴요 요즘에는 왜냐하면. 이제 시간이 지나면서 이 공간에 왔다 가신 분들의 얘기가 이제 점점 쌓이잖아요 저기에 근데 그거를 보면서 그 이후에 다녀가시는 분들이 너무 위로를 많이 받으시는 거예요 이런 걸 보면서 좀 사명감 같은 게 생기긴 하는 것 같아요 왜냐면 그런 분들이 힘을 얻고 또 다음에 또 오실 거라고 말씀을 해주시니까 네, 그런 거 보면은 좀 저도 여기를 책임감 가지고 오래 좀 해야겠다 그리고 저도 좀 오래 들여다보고 싶다 손님들 왔다 갔다 하시는 거 이렇게 오래오래 지켜보고 싶다 이런 생각을 하게 되는 것 같아요 네. Or please. Yes. Yeah, so she said when she first opened the space, she simply hoped it would last a long time. Mm. However, after operating for about a year and witnessing the coming and goings of guests, she says she felt an unex- unexpected power of the space. Mm. Special questions uh, p- prepared by her are placed at each seat. Usually, we don't ask ourselves like deep questions, such as, you know. What we want to do when it rains, when when we feel lonely, or what our favorite music playlist is. But when guests encounter such questions in this quiet and private space, she said they seem to have time to meet themselves, mm. uncovering thoughts deeply hidden mm-hmm. within. So as time passes, stories of those who have visited accumulated, uh, and guests write down their stories before leaving. Also, she mentioned when the next guests see these, uh, these notes, they receive comfort from mm. them. So witnessing such situations, she says she now feels a sense of responsibility as sharing the space leads to guests to leave their own stories, uh, which then empowers the next person who visits. 
So she said guests often shared such stories with her, and witnessing these moments up close, she feels a sense of duty to watch over this place for a long time. So I've, you know, often uh, felt sad when local, like, kind of brands or stores emerge and mm. then just disappeared out of nowhere. Right. And representing like the local businesses, I think you know her goal seems to be the like the most basic, mm-hmm. and uh, you know perhaps what every local business hopes for. And thinking about you know how. People People come to the same place and share their stories at like at different times makes the place feel like an old-fashioned way and romantic somehow. Yes, and this place is like a place where you can come and leave with a story created alone mm. by yourself. So we briefly talked about how the space is structured, and addition to that, we asked her for more details about what she envisions as the essence of this space. And what she has prepared to achieve, uh, how she has prepared to achieve that. So let's listen first. Yes, please. 저희 테마가 이제 본질적인 부분이 사색이다 보니까 저는 그거에 중점을 많이 두고 싶었어요. 저희가 카테고리 안에 두자면 북카페가 맞는데 사실 저는 책을 안 읽어도 상관없으시거든요. 근데 그냥 사색을 하기에 좋은 환경을 만들고자 한 거였어요. 그래서 질문지도 낯선 곳에 오면은 그 공간도 사실 적응하는 데까지 시간이 필요하잖아요. 그래서 내가 뭘 하려고 했었는지 무슨 생각을 하려고 했었는지 그때 돼서 생각 안 나는 경우가 되게 많거든요. 뭔가를 떠올리고 싶어서 오신 것 같은데 그거에 대한 약간 물꼬를 트이게 해드리고 싶어서 질문지를 같은 것도 준비하게 되었고 자리마다 그 큐레이션 주제가 다 달라요. 제주도에 오시는 분들 내 테마 같은 걸로 제가 그냥 한번 정해본 거였어요. 랜덤으로 자리를 이제 배치해드리다 보니까 우연히 만났을 때 이제 좋아하시는 책을 많이 만나시는 것 같더라고요. 근데 그런 것도. 좋은 경험이 되는 것 같고 고용한 공간이긴 한데 중점은 거의 사색을 하기 위한 도구에 맞춰져 있는 게 맞아요. 네, 네. 그리고 가장 저희 공간 중에 중요한 게 사실 창이거든요. 그게 없으면은 그 공간이 의미가 없다고 생각을 해요. 제주도는 비행기를 타고 넘어오니까 그래서. 그거를 도피처로 삼아서 오시는 분들이 많은데 그런 혼자만의 공간을 가진다고 해도. 그런 일상을 떠나왔다는 느낌이 없으면 사실 좀 그렇잖아요. 그걸 느끼기 위해 창가가 꼭 필요하다고 네, 생각을 했고 그리고 그런 공간은 오래 머무르시는 게 맞다고 생각하거든요. 그래서 의자도 편안한 게 맞고 네 그래서 그런 식으로 구성이 된것 같아요. All right, please. Yes, so she mentioned that the main theme of the space, Kosan and Nat, uh, is contemplation. Uh, if you were to categorize this space, it would fall under the genre of a book cafe. Mm-hmm. But she explains that if someone contemplates and reflects without necessarily reading a book, they're using the space in line with its theme. Uh, also, she mentioned that people often need time to adapt to unfamiliar spaces when they want to think of mm-hmm. something. So she said that's why she placed questionnaires at each seat. Uh, These questionnaires were created with the hope of sparking thoughts. Mm. As for book curation, she says she selected books that visitors to Jeju might enjoy reading. And she places them randomly at each seat to allow for the joy of discovering a book by chance. So every aspect of the space is centered on contemplation. Mm. And she mentioned that the window is particularly important as well. Since Jeju Island is a place people travel by plane, uh, it gives a sense of departing from daily life. Mm. And she felt the window contributes to that feeling. Also, she believes that staying in the space for a longer period is appropriate for contemplation. So she implemented a basic uh, reservation system of two to three hours. Mm -hmm. The design of the space was made based on these principles, hoping that it would become a space where people could meet themselves quietly without having to do much. I mean, listening to the story, I'm curious about like, uh, you know, what she did in the past and, uh, you know, what made her like to desire for such a contemplative place. Yes. So she mentioned that she had a mundane job um, completely unrelated to her current work for about 10 years. Mm. And after quitting, she worked as a staff member at a guest house in Jeju for nearly two years. Mm -hmm. And that's when she says she first felt the sense of fulfillment. She said it was something she hadn't experienced in her previous job. 
while her previous job was stable, she mentioned there was a sense of like emptiness in her heart. Mm -hmm. So working at the guest house, she saw people feeling comfortable in the space that she had created for the travelers. And for the first time, she says she felt satisfaction in her work. So feeling fulfill- fulfillment like in, a, in one's work is truly, you know, crucial mm-hmm. and important. So in a way, like Jeju Island seems to have a, like a provided her with a, like a place to start a new life, right? Yes, yes. All right, so today we are talking about, um, you know, Ms. Lee m u r i who runs a special space called, like, a Daytime of Gosan, mm-hmm. and which is, like, exclusively for individuals. All right, let's continue. And is she currently living in Gosan Village in Hangyangmyeon area? Yes, yeah, so she mentioned that her life has completely changed as she started a new job, different mm-hmm. from what she used to do before. So she's currently living in Daejeong area, which is close to Gosan Village, uh, which is her workplace. Mm-hmm. So I've always like wanted to uh, live in a like a rural area of Jeju because yeah you know that I you know I I've lived my entire life on Jeju City urban mm. areas right so I'm curious about this rural life on Jeju and how does she spend you know her non-working days so actually she mentioned that she spends almost all of her time at her store mm. uh, she enjoys being alone so when she's not working she says she's just staring at the sky as part of her daily routine. Uh, she said the difference between uh, the life in the mainland is that even though she spends time like you know looking at the sky she doesn't feel like it's a waste of time while on the mainland there might be worries and anxieties about spending time like that but she said it's not the case anymore on mm, Jeju yeah but also sometimes when friends from the mainland visit Uh, she said she travels around Jeju with them like a tourist as well. So she enjoys it when mainland friends come to visit. So does she have any goals like she wants to achieve in you know, this year, like 2024? Yes, we asked. So should we listen first? Yes, please. We a e a o o n a o a s o n a o a n a o n e o a s o n o n a s o o n a s o o n o o n a o 근데 제가 한번 그걸 보고 너무 궁금해가지고 그 루트를 따라서 한번 여행을 해본 적이 있어요. 저도 가게 근데 운영하기 시작하면서 바빠서 혼자 여행을 되게 많이 못했었거든요. 근데 너무 좋은 거예요. 예전에 혼자 처음 여행하던 그 느낌도 뭔가 다시 느껴지고 좋아서 2024년에는 주기적으로 네 그런 후기들을 보면서 저도 따라서 여행을 계속 All right. Yes. So most of the guests who visit are solo travelers. So many of the reviews they post on social media depict routes of solo travel around the Jeju. Uh, She mentioned that she was so curious about it that Mm. she followed one of the routes for a trip. And the result was overwhelmingly uh, satisfying for her. She mentioned feeling the same experience. same excitement she had when she first started traveling alone so the plan for 2024 she said is to periodically travel around jeju following the solo travel routes recommended by the guests mm. and by following this path she hopes to better understand the heart of more solo travelers who visit her store wow connection i mean she provides some p- space and uh you know and also she gets the information uh, from the guests you mm-hmm. know uh, she, uh, who comes to her place so does she have any like business plan currently due to the space constraints uh she said you can't open the windows uh so her wish is to eventually create a space where you can open windows at each seat and directly hear the sounds of the rain birds and nature Uh, also the unique thing about the place is that while she operates kosan and night the Mm -hmm. daytime of Gozan, as a reservation based space for one person only during the day In the evening, someone else runs a bar named k o s a n e p a m nighttime mm. of k o s a n So, uh, as you know, these days, we often talk about the sharing economy. This concept of small business owners sharing the same space at different times is a good example of the sharing ex- economy. Uh, it's like two completely different times and places. 
coexisting in one space. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this space too. And you know, lastly, um, like I'm curious about the any uh, places on Jeju she recommended for our camellias. Yes, so she recommends the forest. It's a place uh, she says she personally loves. She walks along the trail near her home every day. She mentioned that the dynamic weathers of Jeju make the experience of walking in the forest particularly vivid. Mm. So she especially recommends visiting the forest on rainy days. Forest on a rainy day sounds like a, you know, plan, like <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, so thanks for, you know, amazing uh, stories, you know, for today's uh, show. And, uh, yeah, hopefully just, you know, drive safe. Oh, thank you. Right? You're and living in a Sagipo yes. city. So, and I'm going to see you next week. Yes, yeah, see you next week. Well, I hope you enjoyed the segment. If you are curious to find out more about Jeju, we encourage you to go check out our website at arirangradio.com slash wonders of Jeju. Or you can check out our Facebook page at wonders of Jeju, as well as our Instagram account at woj underbar arirang. We are going to take you on a journey to learn more about what's happening on this island. <laughs>